If you're wondering whether or not you have an H. pylori infection, I honestly can't tell you that without doing some testing first. But what I can do is explain some of the most common symptoms of H. pylori so that you can make a decision as to whether or not you need to explore testing. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Kelsey Ale. I am a best-selling healthy cookbook author, a gut health specialist, and a certified nutritional therapist at KelseyAle.com. I work one-on-one -on -one with clients and provide educational materials like this one here here to help people heal their guts and overcome chronic illness, digestive disorders, and mood disorders using food and food-based supplements. And I post a new video here every week teaching you how to heal your gut naturally. So if that sounds interesting or relevant to you, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. H. pylori or Helicobacter pylori is a super common bacterial gut infection. In fact, it's estimated that about 50% of the population globally has an H. pylori growth or overgrowth in their system. And a few of the main concerns with having an H. pylori infection or overgrowth in your system is that H. pylori is connected to 85% of gastric ulcers and 95% of duodenal ulcers. And if these ulcers are left untreated, they can cause internal bleeding. So those are a couple of the more extreme instances of an H. pylori infection wreaking havoc on your body. But there are other ways that you might be experiencing the symptoms of an H. pylori infection every day and you just might not know it. Now, one of the main mechanisms you and I need to be concerned about when it comes to H. pylori is its release of acid neutral enzymes into your stomach. And these, of course, lower the acidity of your stomach or raise the pH to make your stomach less acidic, which makes it a more comfortable home environment for the bacteria. But what this means for you is that H. pylori might effectively be disabling your digestion. So what are some common symptoms of disabled digestion? Well, heartburn is actually a really common symptom of having an H. pylori infection, which might seem counterintuitive because I think a lot of people mistakenly believe that when you have heartburn, it's a result of having too much acid, when in fact, that's not typically the case. When H. pylori is effective in reducing the acidity of your stomach, what happens is it actually slows down the digestive process. So the food you've eaten ends up lingering in your stomach for longer than it should. And when the food you've eaten sits in a hot, wet environment for an extended period of time, it does begin to ferment and release gases. Now, as these gases start to build up, they put pressure on the cardiac sphincter right there at the top of the stomach. And when that pressure reaches a certain point, it can actually force the sphincter open a little bit, which allows some of that diluted stomach acid to pop up into the esophagus. Now, even though the acid is too neutral and not acidic enough to perform proper digestive function, it is still too acidic for your esophagus, and so it ends up causing a burning sensation that you and I call heartburn. Improper or disabled digestion can also end up making you feel nauseous, and I can say from personal experience that one of my main symptoms of an H. pylori infection in my stomach was feeling nauseous when I would try to eat a meal. Another symptom of an H. pylori infection may be early satiety or the experience of not being able to eat very much before you feel full. And this can lead to a really weird internal conflict of feelings where you feel really full, but you're also still really hungry at the same time. And this is because, again, your stomach is full, your digestion isn't functioning properly, so your stomach isn't emptying at the proper rate, but your calorie needs haven't been met, so you're still hungry. Over time, these symptoms can contribute to unintentional weight loss, which is a really frustrating side effect. Burping, belching, and gas are also really common side effects of the disabled digestion that's caused by having an H. pylori infection. And lastly, chronic diarrhea can also be a really common symptom of bacterial infections like H. pylori. And remember, all of these symptoms are a result of the disabled digestion and lowered stomach acid that's caused by an H. pylori infection, in addition to the irritation and inflammation it causes in the gut lining. In order to effectively treat an H. pylori overgrowth first you need to test and you can do this either 
through a breath sample, a stool sample, or a blood test. Once you get your results back, you can either choose to work with a doctor who will most likely prescribe you antibiotics and antacids, or you could opt to work with someone like me who will help you use diet and food-based supplements to eradicate the H. pylori overgrowth effectively. If you know you're interested in learning more about H. pylori testing and healing your gut naturally, definitely click the link below to set up a quick 20-minute discovery call so we can see if we're a good fit to work together. And let's not forget that another really really crucial step in recovering from an H. pylori infection is to support proper digestion so the infection doesn't come back. If you are interested in learning ways that you can support your digestion, reset your gut, and build a healthy microbiome in just 28 days, you should check out my new 28-day gut health reset program. It's a self-guided digital program. You can click the link below to get more details and jump on the waitlist today. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and the information contained in it, please let me know by hitting the like button. Definitely watch these videos next for more tips on how to heal your gut naturally. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel, hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video, and of course, share the information with your friends. All right, take care, be well, I'll see you next time. Bye.